Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Fast food chain could outdo Nike on outrage with nasty new buttons workers wear. Burgerville is a fast food chain in the Pacific Northwest with around 50 locations. Recently, some controversy has been brewing because employees started wearing politically charged buttons at work, offending customers. The company changed its policy to ban such accessories and now the workers' union is demanding that the employees be allowed to piss off and alienate as many customers as possible. This is from Fox News. Burgerville employees are going to have to express themselves with a little less flair now that the restaurant chain has revised its button policy after several employees came to work wearing political pins, offending some customers. Originally, the small Pacific Northwest burger chain did not have a written policy in place, which led to workers wearing controversial pins like abolish ice and no one is illegal while on shift. Now the fast food restaurant is creating a policy to keep its facilities inclusive. Some of our employees have been wearing buttons expressing their political views at work. While Burgerville had a long-standing verbal policy prohibiting the wearing of personal buttons, we did not have a written policy about this. The company is adopting one that represents our long-standing commitment to creating a universally welcoming and inclusive environment for our customers and employees alike. We are instituting an updated uniform policy, and buttons and other messaging, both political and personal, will not be allowed. It is a policy that is common in public-facing businesses and is in alignment with our mission to serve with love," said the company in a statement. This all started when some super-white employees at a Portland, Oregon, where else? Location were sent home for refusing to take off their offensive buttons. A restaurant chain in Oregon is receiving customer backlash after employees started wearing politically charged buttons that read abolish ice and no one is illegal, much to the company's dismay. Late last month, Burgerville sent home 10 workers from its Montevilla location in Portland after they refused to take off the pins which, supervisors said, violated company policy that bans controversial pins. However, one day later, the company gave the employees back pay and let them return to work with their protest buttons after the union called the policy a form of white supremacy. This is no BS, the union really did call this policy white supremacy. Check out this Facebook post. Yesterday, a new policy came down from Burgerville Corporate, no political buttons. Corporate explicitly singled out Black Lives Matter and no one is illegal buttons as too controversial to be worn at work, and only buttons about wages and working conditions would be allowed. Burgerville's new policy is, simply put, white supremacist. When bosses tell workers they are not allowed to support Black Lives Matter or to stand with undocumented immigrants, they are siding with the basic deal is the company never had a written policy against employees wearing these stupid buttons and now they do. This has prompted this ultra-reasonable union to demand that workers be allowed to offend customers at work. As you can see, the union is also demanding that Burgerville put an end to white supremacy and abolish all prisons. These are probably things that a small burger franchise lacks the power to do, but whatever. Unions are dumb, but this particular one lacks even a hint of human intelligence. If these employees are allowed to offend and alienate customers, those customers will simply stop coming to Burgerville. If customers stop coming, employees will be laid off. What this dumbass union is fighting for is their members to be put out of work. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.